All right, everybody, what is up? Welcome back to another video and the third reaction video for the day. We've got the Orlando Apollos versus the San Antonio Commandeers. And whenever I hear of Orlando, I automatically think of the magic. And whenever I hear of San Antonio, I automatically think of Tim Duncan. Let's get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. Deep in the heart of Texas, it's the Alliance Deep of the Texas, Texas, San Antonio. Two teams, the Orlando so San Antonio is south in Texas. Orlando is over there to the right in Florida. Hollows and the Commanders. Eagles on their squad, their practice squad through their Super Bowl run. Got Cut him. Oh Keep yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Oh. Love it. Shot, bro. Took out the other team and he came off the field. Go, son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should have jumped higher, mate. That, that hurdle was a little low, I've got to say. It's no Saquon Barkley. Damn, he's hurt, man. Zone rushing attack number 59 goes up field for the Apollos. That's going to be Earl Okine. He's going to play the quarterback on his own read, and that's what opens up the cutback for Farrow to go up and over the top in what looks to be a touchdown. It's not good, man. Thank, thank God he didn't land straight on his head. Seriously. Yes, get that. Oh, what a catch. OBJ who? Boom! Hold it in with one hand. Wow, Let's have a look. A beauty from Ayers, the coverage. Oh, not quite. <laughs> I thought it was clean, but not not quite. You did you did well, mate. Did well to bring that in. Mark Myers Jr. in the slot. Great body position. The ball placement from Woodside was incredible, and then the one-handed effort. I think that's the one thing you love to see these wide receivers finishing the great catch. She up versus man coverage. Three of three on third down. Woodside trying to increase it. And the catch made, the stretch that he gets. I've got some speed, San Antonio. And Demarcus Ayers with two big grabs on this drive. And they move the sticks. Oh, this is a close one. Watch the reach. A pick. And. He was out. Go, son. Go, go, go. That's what you should be doing, mate. Get that first down slide automatically. Especially because it looks like I'm not sure exactly, but it looks like there's no rules about roughing the quarterback. Let me, let me, let me just, let me just get this. I need to get this in my head. AAF quarterback tackle rules. No. No, I don't, I don't believe there are any changes to the quarterback tackling rules. But we have seen the quarterback get absolutely smashed a fair few times already. The first down. The guy that he is lining up against and doing an outstanding job. Second and Antonio touchdown to make it. Come on, highlight heaven. 12 nothing. Really? Really? You're going to do that to me? Second and Antonio touchdown. Tight split by receivers with an offset back. Now how did he get open? How did he get open? Why is that why is that defender not tracking? Okay, this this guy comes out. Because of the fake to the running back, he has to make a decision. Which is to let that guy go, go for the running back who doesn't get the ball, and then it's like, oh shit. Receivers with an offset back, you've got to know that they're going to run a pick. vertically down the field. Here's Gilbert doing just that right on QR. has got to be wide open like a bucket, and it's caught by Charles Johnson. Beautiful. A strike from Garrett Gilbert, and a first down and goal. And watch number 41. 
and they're running right at him, and I keep going at him. On the ground, and Orlando powers in for the touchdown. Damian. I want to see that, that mesh. I want to see that the wide receiver run across. What happened? You've got to get out of your back pedal. And they're running right at Hmm. Look at that. I mean, how do you know what's going to happen? The quarterback could keep it for all they know. If the quarterback did keep that, that was an automatic pass out to the right. On the ground, and Orlando powers in for the touchdown. Davion Smith, game on. 12-6 now, early goings of the second quarter. Yeah, yeah. Former Wolverine powers his way in. It's going to be a tough tackle coming in here from Davion Smith. One on one, tight mm. hole, two point conversion as well. Shot boys. Well done. Interesting. Yeah. Third and eight here for Marquise Williams. Go, yes. Where are you going? <laughs> bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Looked like he did about five or six stutter steps there. Distance, and the commanders are taking advantage of that. Got a sack and five tackles last week against the Williams. And again. And again. Go, son. Another big pickup. And he converts on third down to the 35. He's big. He's huge. He is huge. Who the hell is that? Let me have a look. I don't know how to spell it. Marquise Williams. Oh, not a bad effort. What do we got here? Marquise Williams, American football quarterback for the San Antonio Commandeers of the Alliance American Football. He most recently played for the Sasquatch, Saskatchewan, Rough Rides of the Canadian Football League. Okay. So he was in the CFL. He's 188. He's got to be, he's, fuck, he's got to be 100 and, 15. Only 100 kilo. Well, he actually started at the Green Bay Packers, believe it or not. Hmm. Good kick. Go, yes! Knew that was going to happen. Go, go, go! Oh no! You should have just backed yourself. Definitely should have backed himself. Oh well. Beautiful read by Gilbert. He sees that there is no free safety in the middle of the field. Go, go, go! He should have just kept going. Outside leverage, but the free safety because of the run action was nowhere to the front be found. Sanchez is expecting secondary support. Good kick for Steve Spurrier at South Carolina. Ben Tarka Holder, and that one is true. Bit, bit wobbly. And it's a 15 11 game now with 5.37 to go. So the head ball coach in his offense, the field goal, no touchdown, but they get points. 4 3 16. 0 for 2 is Orlando on third down. Pressure Gilbert. Chucking one out there, the receiver had to wait for it, and Johnson's downfield again. And Johnson comes up. It's out, I reckon. Discussing, they're saying it's a catch. Catch? I didn't, I didn't see any, I didn't see any uh, place and drag there. Charles Johnson played his college ball at Grand Valley State. Let's, Let's have a look. Does he, does he place and drag like Tony Totat? Right now. Yeah. And base. All right, he's got the ball. One foot down. His left foot doesn't go down. It looked like he was expecting the free safety, Duran Smith, to help him over the top. Gilbert taking it for short of throw this time, but he makes the throw. They get the first down as Johnson's back in the game. His nice catch. catch. Well, I'm glad we're here. I'd like to hear that. Gilbert stands in, taking a shot. Yeah! Beautiful. Beautiful ball delivered to Charles Johnson. Yeah. Take aim as they say in Orlando. How did he get open? 
He is having a monster day. Seven plays, 77, Arch. And killing the double move. This oh, the double move. Let's double have a look at this. That Johnson is hitting. Yeah. Love it. And wow, That's how he got open. Yeah. Hey, I learned a long time ago, Ben, that it takes two to make things go right in a beautiful connection. So as soon as he, as soon as he stopped and then started again, the ball was thrown. Defender couldn't do anything about it. Don't. Cut. Cut. Third and 13. What are they going to do here? Touchdown. Touchdown, I reckon. Watch this. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Nice kick. How did it get through there? Shot. <laughs> well, that doesn't happen every day. In boo! I was like, what is that last name? Yeah, in boo! Fuck, six sacks last week, three picks today. Damn, bruh. Let's have a look at this. Go, son. <laughs> oh, shit. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Go, go, go. Oh. Good tackle. Stopped by Jordan Thomas, but a monster game. Watch the separation about 20 yards down the field, right? Good there. speed. See what they do here. Gilbert throws it into the Get up. Oh, that would have been nice. High scoring game, isn't it? Same thing. But he was so open, I thought it was a, a pick. How did he get that open? Oh, 29 all. 7.49 to go. Tied at 29, Arch. You've got to see this if you're drumming. You've got to stay deep to short. You see how they entice him with the underneath coverage, and then Gilbert spots the corner out right behind him for the touchdown. There you go. Boom. 24's there. Pressure. Good catch, but. Good success with option routes. Fuck, that's the guy in the Oh, here we go. Has he got enough? Has he got enough? Oh! Good job. Good job. Keith Reeser, the pick six. Two games two pick sixes for the Orlando Apollo defense. Watch the isolation here to the left. Right there, they go. Oh, that's an easy one for him, is it? Woodside. Good pass. Come on, score. Oh no. Mm. Good truck. Spies it, see ya. 
Look at this young man run inside of the 40 yard line. Nice work. The Ernest Johnson stopped by Joel Lanning on a big pickup and a first down for the Ernest Johnson. Yep, I think Johnson has made a case for yep. more carries next week. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really? Fuck, man. All he did was run left and then threw a hole. Like, man. I wish I was a running back. Great read, great anticipation, and know where the defense is. Yeah. There he goes. There's the Crescent. 29. <laughs> and Garrett Gilbert. Orlando take it. And Orlando go to 2 0, San Antonio 1 1. 7 29. The Apollos of Orlando. There we go. Okay, now, I would have gone straight on to game number four, but it's not there yet. So as soon as it's there, I will. But, uh, you know, there is another video that I assume you guys are probably going to want, want me to watch. Highlight Heaven have put it up just randomly in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and uh, it's called NFL Knowing the Rules Moments. So I, I assume it's NFL players who have basically known the rules even better than the refs and the fans. So they do something on the field that uh, I guess helps the team. I've watched the first one, but we're gonna watch the rest. So anyways guys, if you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you wanna subscribe for more, please do. The next video you're gonna see is NFL Knowing the Rules Moments by Highlight Heaven. And then after that, I assume, we will be into the Oh, I've just seen something. Ryan Davis, scary injury. Let's watch that. He's victimizing this Fuck. commander's secondary. Oh, no. A neck injury. In I might have bloody laughed at that. Finger A lot of experience in that back end. Left side, escapes. And dumps it off, and it's caught. A big game here on their midfield. As it was back. It was... Fuck, it was the defenders. Oh, shit, 95. Collided back there. You know, Ben, right before that last touchdown pass to Charles Johnson, I was about to say that Steve Spurrier might want to slow this thing down and make sure that they're the last offense to hold the ball before they go. Is he moving? Time. Not wanting no, no. to score He's too moving. fast and leaving time for the commanders, but. You're never going to scoff at getting a touchdown, but the Commanders do have some time now to get this drive going and get some points going into halftime. Here's what happened in the backfield, Arch. They collided Fuck, his there. neck would have got absolutely snapped backwards, man. I don't want to see any more of it. It's exactly what they called it, a scary injury. That's scary shit, man. It's scary for me to watch. Um, I don't like it. But... It's part of the game. It's part of football. So anyways, guys, I've already told you to like the video. If you haven't, fucking like it now. And I'm not meant to swear. I'm working on it, okay? So I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.